finally, finally felt like, wow, I found music when I saw Mariah Carey someday. Hmm. <laughs> I actually remember a cassette that I used to put in the living room and all my girls would come over and we'd choreograph dances to and it was Paula Abdul's. So yeah. And Janet Velvet wrote. Hey! Yeah. That was like That's my first, best. like, yeah. My very first, though, was Tina Turner. I wow. feel like she was one of the first Paula Abdul's. Like, she was a true yeah, performer. Was Paula Abdul was definitely a big influence on me as a dancer and as a singer. She did it all. For me, it would be um, no doubt. Um, because I think they've evolved as a group and as artists, and also Gwen is just on the forefront of, you know, fashion. She's an icon. She kind of takes it to the next level. The album is like mad, crazy, eclectic, and I think that totally validates uh, who we are because we are mad, crazy, eclectic girls. We are like that in our music, obviously, in the record, the album, and our style, and in our voices. Here, the studio again. <laughs> record plant, my home. Ronald, get to see the night scientist himself. Hi. How was it to collaborate with people like Snoop? Uh, it was amazing, and it was an honor to collaborate with everyone from Snoop Dogg to Busta Rhymes to Timberland. Uh, well I am from the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, for myself, working in the studio with them, I was scared to death. Uh, but uh, it was an amazing, awesome learning experience. And they're really, you could just learn so much from musicians and producers and artists and people like that. And I think we really have. Yeah, I don't think you can really categorize our music. We have a little bit of everything. It's definitely pop music, but with R&B, influences, rock influences. It's got a lot of different flavors. We are recording our final song, thank God, on this album. And it is called, I'ma Stick With You. Sound good, Mike, thank you. And it is a beautiful song. found it, he sent it to me while I was on the road. And um, in the moment I heard it, I was like, yeah, this is a hit. It's a really precious song, I, I love it. It's really sweet. Um, we, we'd finished the album, we'd done our finished album dance and everything. But something inside of me was telling me the album wasn't, I didn't know, like I hadn't heard all the songs together, so I didn't know if it was really finished. I was like, if we do this song for this album, then I'll feel like the album's complete. Uh, I think it's going to turn out really good. I think it's going to be something we're going to really be proud of, and it's going to be like the cherry on top for the album. <laughs> now, you know, usually people think that we don't get along, we don't like each other, but we're like a family. We're supportive of each other. You know, it helps too when you have people like cheering you on because we need that extra energy. And uh, we all have all different personalities, but it all fits really well together. We are together 24-7, so there's no way but to not get closer when you're living on a tour bus together, flying every day, and you're spending every second together. So we have become such close-knit <laughs> sisters. Sometimes it helps, though, just to kind of fist it out. Yeah. You feel much better after. She afterwards. punched me the other day, and it felt great. <laughs> a little slap every now and then doesn't hurt. <laughs> We're like, hey, I'm just trying to keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> you want your hair back? <laughs> <laughs>